outside and one for the unintelligent as fellas get Listen, let's settle this, be clear I could fall back seven years Still it ain't no one ahead of me Consider it a blessing if you get to stand next to me Five star general, OG veteran What's up everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. So one thing I've noticed in the last, like, I don't know, maybe month or so, I hadn't really put much thought into it, to fix this fucking camera angle, make this shit fucking square, is um, I saw a couple of the YouTubers' videos that I was watching, Bradley Martin was one of them, and the Hodge twins, like, they weren't even really talking about it, but it kind of kind of worked into, like, their vlog that they were doing in their, um, their workplace. It's like their storage facility for their clothing line and supplements. And that was like, they talked about when they first started the YouTube thing, if you went back and looked at those videos, you would notice that we're not really the same people, YouTubers in general, that actually, you know what, I was talking to Mark Lobliner about this when he was here. He was here last week on Friday, and we were talking about when he first started, he didn't cuss at all. Like there was a no cuss rule on his, no swearing on his, um, his thing, and he went about 27 videos in before he finally had something that upset him enough to actually just kind of fucking come out and be like, boom, you know, like, no pun intended, the boom, but, you know, here's, you know, he kind of fucking went off the rails a little bit, showed more of his personality, got upset, swore, etc. You know, the Hodge twins are more fucking reserved. They were kind of like, you know, I think each one of us, to be honest with you, all of us in general, when we first started this, are very reserved and not really comfortable being in front of a camera, okay? Now, some people edit, they chop edit shit. Some people could do it all in one take. Um, you know, I think you'll notice that Hodge Twins, Bradley Martin, Mark Loblender, myself, one take. There's no fucking editing. There's no chopping. There's one take and we can go fucking 10, 15 minutes and talk in one take because we are very comfortable with ourselves now and we just let our personality out in front of the camera. And it's not really like that when we start. So I didn't even really think about it. And I have literally like over 1300 videos on the channel now. So I went back to video one and I watched it and I was like, I'm very like, Ba 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 ba. I'm still trying to say the things that I say now, but I was very reserved and not comfortable in front of the camera. Now, I was also in these videos called they were M3 Muscle. If you look up M3 Muscle on YouTube, I'm in those um, with Kevin Lebroni and my buddy Rick Rofeld. And although I was the more comfortable one out of the three of us, I still wasn't super comfortable. So I was the one that was kind of pushed into the the spotlight in the videos to begin with. And interacting the most and stuff. And even then you'll see a different demeanor, you know, than what you see now. You know, and I stopped to think about it. I was like, let me watch these videos. And it was like the Ian McCarthy video, which Ian who I've since then, you know, buried the hatchet with. The Ian McCarthy video is when I first kind of came out and started letting some of myself come out. And people just responded to it. You know, I think that happens with each one of us. The Hodge twins, Bradley Martin, myself, Mark Lobliner. Each one of us starts to come out of our shell and our own personality comes through. And if you notice and you watch all these different channels, each channel has a different feel. Each channel has its own personality. It's our own entity that we have that's an extension of ourselves. And in the beginning, it wasn't like that. We're all pretty much the same, trying to talk the same, trying to be politically correct, not saying the things that we feel exactly, not showing our feelings, not showing our emotions, not saying things the way that we want to say them. You know, some people thought swearing would be very offensive and no one would respond to that. Well, the fact is most of us swear and swear a lot. So it's like, you know, you're trying to be something you're not while trying to be yourself at the same time, but you don't really feel comfortable, you know, putting on that front in front of the camera where you're not really yourself. You know, and you fast forward two or three years of doing the YouTube stuff and you see a lot different individual in front of the camera now than you did back then. And it's not that we weren't being real then. It's not that now we're not being real now. It's like an evolution of coming out of your shell and kind of going from the caterpillar to the butterfly. You're still who you are. But you've evolved into something that is much more personable, much more, I guess, out in the open. You know, the more comfortable you come, become on the camera, the more comfortable you become being yourself, and the more that people respond to you and accept you just for being you and who you are and what you say, the more of you you put into it. You know, there are definitely catchphrases that each one of us have that none of us thought were going to be catchphrases. To fix the fucking camera angle, I'm bio history and I approve this message. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. I mean, all these things, boom, Mark Leiber, Lowliner, it's not a game. All of these things weren't necessarily going to be taglines, but the way that our personalities came through and what we said, how we said it, and you know, the way it was pulled off in the videos, they take on a life of their own and become their own taglines. People want to see it and they start repeating it. You know, you go to a, um, a, 
an expo and people go, yo, Jerry, this is the BioS3 bicep right here. You know, like the first time I flexed my arm, I didn't know what to fucking say. I didn't even think about it. I thought it was dumb flexing my arm, but it was like, this is the BioS3, I'm sick of your bullshit bicep. Like it, there was like a phrase that went with it and it became a catchphrase, you know, like fix that fucking camera angle. The first time I fixed it, it really didn't need to be fixed. You know, but the next time I went to fix it, it wasn't, it was just slightly off, but I think I fucked it up more than I fixed it. And people were like, oh, that's funny. You're doing it just for the fuck of it. And fix that fucking camera angle showed up on, you know, all a whole bunch of different people's fucking videos now. So and it's pretty cool to go back and look at these things. And I'm glad that most of us actually have all those things archived on our channel. So you can actually go back and watch the person actually grow as an individual, the way that they come across their personalities and get to you know, really be them. That's the one thing that I love about the YouTube rather than bodybuilding. Bodybuilding doesn't give a fuck about your personality, okay? Bodybuilders on stage, nobody gives a fuck. You try to wear trunk colors and cuts to show your personality. Your poses are supposed to show your personality. But the bottom line is you can't be personal because you're not really just being you. You're just fucking showing your outside. You're trying to get your inside to come out on the outside, which is very difficult to do in posing and shit like that. So YouTube, each one of us gets to be ourselves. And we're accepted for being ourselves and what we do. And that leads to not really the jealousy that you would see and the arguing that you would see in bodybuilding. You know, competitive bodybuilding, everybody's vying for one trophy. All the YouTubers, I'm different than Mike Rashid. Mike Rashid's different than Mark Lobliner. Mark Lobliner's different than Rich Piana. Everybody is different. C.T. Flitcher's different than this one. None of us are the same. Although we have the same thing in common that we're on YouTube on this platform, you know, and we like to lift weights and we have similar personalities. Like there are similar things, but our actual individualism that makes us who we are comes through and nobody's going to really compete with that. Nobody wants to be me. Nobody wants to be, well, some people want to be other people, but the bottom line is it just comes through and makes it a lot more enjoyable situation and experience where you can just be you, not have to worry about somebody trying to fucking take what you have and you meet up with all these other people that are just being them too and everybody's growing and evolving and you're watching these people's channels and individuals grow, like sometimes they put a lot of their family stuff in it. You're watching everything grow and become something that is really special. So I feel honored to be a part of the YouTube fitness community or the YouTube community in general. I feel honored that people want to watch. I feel honored that fucking people even want to pay attention. It feels good to me to know that I make a difference in the world. But some people are just watching because they're curious. They're curious to see the insight on someone's life, who they are, find out more about them. And, you know, it can be a positive and a negative thing. You know, you can take it however you want and it's going to have its positive moments and its negative moments. But the biggest positive thing that I think that comes out of all this is you really get to know and be who you are on a daily basis by doing these things. And then you actually get to watch yourself back on the screen being who you are and saying the things that you say. And it's almost like you're watching just like the other people are watching. You get to see yourself because we don't really, I don't really even know what the fuck I say in these things. I watch them back and I'm like, holy shit, maybe I should or shouldn't post this. I don't even know. But sometimes I'll watch it back and I'm like, wow, you know, I'm watching me. But if that wasn't me, that's a guy that I would like to hang out with. Sounds fucking bizarre, you know. But like I said, it's just cool to be part of. And um, go back and check out those other guys, you know, original videos back in the day. And look how different they are compared to how they are now. And what you're seeing now is an extension of what they really were all along. But they're just more comfortable with being who they are. Biosetraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biosetraining.com is a blog. It's down happy with who I am. I have Biosetraining bicep and we're out.